Hey everyone. This week has been a long and boring one. A slow slog as it were, waiting for the experience buff to increase and expand. It was worth the wait, 100% does feel amazing, the extra gold is awesome and I'm overall loving it. But if you aren't sure which path to follow while the level in order to earn, then I'm here today just to go through it with a little bit more detail with you. We know that dungeon grinding is pretty awesome first of all, but is it actually the best way? So if we just start then with the benefits of dungeon grinding. So dungeon grinding rewards big with the dungeon quest. It's easy, there's no brain required, you do get supply crates dropping regularly and you can save your quests for when you're maximum level and can acquire more gold anyway by doing them or for leveling 40 to 42. You can pick up better gear items, pick up class books, practice your role and make friends. So you see really tons of benefits to actually leveling by dungeons. It's an MMO, so a group orientated game. It makes absolute sense to level in this way. Some other things too, like your class books, are really important. Priests, for example, can get a Shadow Fiend in Scarlet Monastery. So what are the downsides then? Spending gold on summons, so yeah, we all do it, surely. Missing out on the majority of the quest gold, so you won't be able to get much for going back to level 30 quests at 40. So that's a gold opportunity right there that's gone forever. Waiting around, so dependency on others, finding groups. Despite only being a few downsides, they are quite big ones. The gold you would have gotten at lower levels you will not be going back for. But then take a look at questing. The benefits of questing are vast. It unlocks dungeon quests for you, more gold. When supply crates drop, you get a 100% chance of receiving them, rather than a 1 in 5 chance of receiving them in a dungeon group. You can move zone by zone, so there's less temptations by summons. And yeah, if, you, if you're questing effectively, you can do it fairly quickly. Next up, I've got some tips then for questing or dungeon grinding most effectively. The first one then is getting the world buffs. So try to get all three world buffs and boom them. And then as you're starting a big questing session, you just pop it then. Now the initial sleeping bag quest items, you should get those as soon as you're in the area. But after that, there's not a massive rush. Just pick them up around level 25 or 30 once you can get around easier. If you are leveling multiple alts, consider doing a few levels on one and then swap in to maximise your time spent rested. If you're dungeon leveling especially, try and stock up on everything you need. So food, drinks, any consumables and have loads of bag space. This way you can avoid taking too many trips back to the city, since every trip back to the city is going to be requiring the summon. If you're logging off for the night but planning to play again the next day, weigh up how much those free bars of rested is actually going to help you versus the time spent travelling to the city and travelling back, or the gold spent on summons. It's actually astonishing how well conditioned we all are to only log out in rested areas, when the real time benefit is often crazily small. You'll often see people, even, even at maximum level, when rested isn't important, herfing back before they log out. And it's, it's often really not a, not a benefit at all, it's just a habit that we've all gotten into. Most importantly, once you've found a group you're happy with, stick with them as much as you possibly can for as long as you possibly can. That one's going to save you so much time. So we've looked at both the pros and cons of dungeon and quest levelling. And we've looked at some tips to do both of them with maximum efficiency. So it's really time to decide, questing or grinding. The maximum gold is obviously leveling by a quest. I don't think there can be any question at this point. Dungeons cost you gold if you buy summons, which let's be honest, most of us do. The dungeon quests are super spread out and the drop rate of supply crates isn't high enough to offset you needing to roll with them for, for other players. Questing though is consistent gold and silver. You'll easily make enough on each character to pay for its mount and some towards professions to make even more gold. The only time there's really a question and where dungeon leveling potentially does overtake questing now is between levels 35 and 40. This is to pick up your class books, a few bits of better gear and leaves you with level 35 to 40 zones untouched. So then you can either quest for gold at level 40 or pre-quest phase 3. Now, I hope I've helped you today to work out what you want to do with your alts. Definitely for gold, it's questing to level 35 and then really making making your own mind up there. But I would, I would suggest questing to 35 and then switching to dungeons. I hope you found today's video useful. I have my top 5 farming spots in Season of Discovery coming later this week, as well as a rundown of potions for gold in Wrath for any cataclysm preppers out there. So please do take a minute to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Bye!